Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Chris from Kratom Kingdom and I figured today's video would be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to talk to you about my favorite potentiators and um, also a little bit who I am and why do I make these videos for people. What do I get out of it? Basically, 20 years ago, well in 2003, however long ago that was, I had a massive stroke. I was a normal person just like you and everybody else had no depression, no physical body aches. I mean, it just out of the blue, I had a massive stroke that took out the left side of my body, affecting my right side of my brain. And my wife of 20 years decided she didn't want to be married to a disabled guy anymore because I was gaining weight and my personality had changed. So she met somebody who made her happy and that's all I got to say about that I wish her well she's got two kids now and something I've always wanted and and she's living her life and I'm living my life so I live alone in a efficiency apartment and I have a whole lot of time on my hands because I'm a hundred percent disabled and um, most of my disability is cognitively I suffer chronic anxiety clinical depression what else can we add they say I'm bipolar they say I've got a borderline personality disorder and physically I can't stand for more than 20 minutes at a time so it leaves a lot of retail McDonald's I've tried to work at all those places and I went to college for 10 years to be a school teacher and I got to be a school teacher for a, a year or one year and it was amazing. I was a special ed school teacher who loved my kids. My kids loved me. But the pain, I mean, just the pain of every day waking up. Because I think the stroke gave me fibromyalgia because I have a nerve pain all throughout my body. Which is what, and I had migraines my entire life. Horrible migraines. So what I decided to do was get try try an herbal remedy something that wasn't prescribed because I was prescribed hydrocodones and immediately became a totally addicted to them I was trying to buy them on the streets and it was it was ruining me and I was like this is ridiculous there's got to be a better way and and with my anxiety I was prescribed Xanax and that just about killed me because you get so addicted to Xanax so fast and I weaned myself off of it to the point where I don't take Xanax anymore and I don't take hydrocodones anymore now I drink Kratom and that seems to help both so Kratom is amazing for pain it's amazing for anxiety doesn't taste very good but it's helped me to get my life back. I can wake up now and instead of drinking coffee, I'll drink Kratom. And I make it even taste even worse because I'll sprinkle some poppy seeds in the, t in the tea or in your toss and wash, however you want to do it. Just plain poppy seeds. I don't know why they add, they potentiate, but they increase the benefits of the tea a lot. And and then I add turmeric to it, and turmeric has a whole lot of healthy effects, but it also enhances the effects of kratom. That's been scientifically proven. So I add turmeric, and then I add pop California poppy seed tincture to it. And um, for some reason, that calms my anxiety, and and I feel no pain anymore. I haven't had a migraine in the three years that I've been, or five years that I've been taking Kratom. Another reason I made this channel is because, yeah, we have this awesome herb called Krat, Kratom, Kratom, whatever, and, but how the hell do you use it? I mean, nobody told me, they just gave me a little baggie of it and said, here, make a tea out of it. So I, I tried every way possible. I was putting it in those capsules and just tasted terrible, and the capsules did nothing to me. 
I don't know why. Um, and I toss and washing it does nothing for me. I, it's just like it gets to my stomach and it makes me feel nauseous. So, but a tea I can sip on all day and it just makes me feel warm and fuzzy. It gives me that opiate-like euphoria where I, I want to talk to people, I want to see people, I want to leave my apartment building. And um, I love the green screen because I can be anywhere. It makes it look like I'm anywhere. I can be in there for. I can be in the forest. I can be in a coffee shop. I can be in front of a Seven <coughs> Eleven. I can be anywhere I want to be. And not just sitting alone in my apartment making YouTube videos to people who are trying to figure out what this crowd and stuff is for. You could make it into a tea, you could make it into a tincture, you could make it into capsules, you can toss and wash it. For me, tea gives me the most control because I can add as much tea as I want to it. If, I ha if I'm having a particularly hard day, I'll put 10, uh, 10 grams of it in my teacup and mix it with boiling water from an electric tea kettle. And I buy my tea, f I buy my kratom from a guy in North Carolina who turned me on to it. He gets it from Indonesia. So he started, I think he's only selling it to friends and family because I, I asked him if he wanted me to advertise for him on on my YouTube channel, but he, I think he just wants to stay low key with it. He just sells it to me so he can buy more for himself. Like I don't know, but he's he uses it. I use it. I can't get my family to use it. They still think I'm on drugs because it works too well. Anything that works too well has got to be a drug. So they think I'm on drugs, but, but that's all right because I'm even in Narcotics Anonymous because. People think I'm on drugs because of Kratom tea because it works so well and I feel so good. Oh my God, look at that taste. What I started doing was mixing that crystal light lemonade just right on top of it because you need some sort of acidic acid. Lemon juice, lime juice, you need that acetic acid to, so that the alkaloids, the codeine, the morphine, the mitrogena speciosa alkalines have something to bind onto. So when they, they hit your brain and everything, then it, so if you're not taking it with some sort of acidic acid, like lemon or lime or crystal light lemonade, which is nothing but lemon flavored acetic acid, it gives it something to bind onto, and it really makes a huge effect. And I don't know if you can get that. You can buy acetic acid in powder form, and maybe put that in capsules, or maybe add that to your toss and wash. Um, it's it's real. It's like taking a lemon and just the taste of the powder. It's terrible. And I've done everything to make it taste better. I used to use grams and grams of sugar and honey and just anything to try to make it taste better. But now I've, it's the taste is. I know with there, it's like getting a tattoo. It hurts like hell when you're getting it, but once you got it, you're like, yeah. And so the taste is like it tastes terrible, but I know it's gonna make me feel better. So if you guys, I answer every single. I try to answer every single question in my comments, and I'm trying to build a kratom com community. So I want to hear what you guys use it for, how you use it, why you use it, where you get it from. Most people, I think I started getting it from Phyto Extractum online. And then I found my, this guy in Asheville, North Carolina that I was friends with that. When I found out he sold it, I was like, I was like, score. All right, y'all, well, peace out and have a lovely day.